Hey guys, I'm Nifri Desikin and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about 100 nude lipsticks. Oh my god, I know the number is so huge and this is a collection I've accumulated over time and I just thought that I'll put all the nude lipsticks together and make a video for you guys. So there's a nude lipstick for every single skin tone. I'm, I'm going to be segregating it like light uh, nudes for light skin tone, for medium skin tone, for medium tan and deep skin tone. So I'm going to be segregating it like that. Now I know I'm talking quite a lot but I just want to give quick disclaimers because I usually get this in most of the lipstick swatch videos especially when it comes to nude. Okay, now nude lipsticks are very subjective. So what is nude on you might not mean nude on me. So if you like that very pale nude, I think I have something like that in my collection for you guys as well. But I am someone who I don't really like very, very pale nudes on my skin tone. So I've mostly tried to stay away from those kind of shades and I've tried to not buy those kind of shades because I'm spending my money on these products. So when I used to buy nude shades, I used to try to buy something that I can wear without makeup as well. So most of these nude shades flatter me even without makeup. And so in today's video, all of this is filled in natural light. As you guys can see, this is like natural light, no studio lights or anything of the sort. I'm sitting in front of a window. So I got my entire collection to my mom's place and um, because this is where I have like a huge window and I also don't have any makeup on my face at all because again, makeup with nude lipsticks can look very different. Before I get these comments like, okay, I can see foundation on your skin later towards the video. It's because I'm going to be masking any pigmentation on my lips or if the lip product moves around so I need to mask it and foundation would be the only way I can do that so throughout the video you might see a little bit of foundation here and there but I'm trying to film this without any makeup and my hair is really wet excuse that so let's get started with the video so firstly I'll be swatching uh, lipsticks for light skin tones okay the first one I'm going to be swatching is the Swiss Beauty matte lipstick in the shade hazelnut this is perfect for people with light skin tones because it doesn't actually show up on me that much and the formula is a little bit stiff to apply as well the next shade I'm going to be swatching is from faces Canada and this is their matte lipstick in the shade buff nude but this is more of a very subtle nude shade and it kind of washes me out uh, so I would recommend this for people with lighter skin tones than I am the next shade I'm going to be swatching is the Nykaa matte to last liquid lipstick in the shade Le Pondy. This is a very very um, light shade like a light mauve nude shade. This is for people with lighter skin tones for sure. The next one I'm going to be swatching is the Miss Claire Soft Matte Lip Cream and this is in the number 31. As you guys can see it's like a very pale nude shade with a little bit of like pink peach undertones to it. It definitely suits only light skin tones in my opinion. So the next one again which suits only people of light skin tone is the Stilla Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Patina. So on its own without any lip liner, this is how it looks on my lip. Next one I'm going to be swatching is the Nykaa Matte to Last Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Bombay. I feel like this one would look really nice on people with lighter skin tone than me. I don't really like the shade on myself. But if you are of a medium skin tone and you really like pale nude shades, you might like this. But this, in my opinion, is for people with lighter skin tone than me. Next one I'm going to be swatching is the Sugar. It's a Pout Time Vivid Lipstick in the shade Better Call Salmon. It's a very subtle peachy pink shade. The next one I'm going to be swatching is the L'Oreal Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade I Rule. Now this shade again would look really nice on light skin tones. It's like a very nice light pink shade. The next shade I'm going to be swatching is the Lacme 9 to 5 Weightless Matte Mousse Lipstick. This is in the shade Coffee Light. This is a very grey tone nude shade. Would look really nice for people with light skin tones. If you're anywhere deeper, I think this might wash you out. Next one I'm going to be swatching is the Colourpop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Beeper. This is a very grey toned nude shade which would look really nice on people with light skin tones. I don't really like how it looks on my skin tone. The next one I'm going to be swatching is the Essence Lip Liner. This is in the shade Cute pink. This is like a very uh, light pink nude shade. The next shade I'm going to be talking about is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Stepping Out. This is almost like a very true nude shade for people of light and medium skin tones. I can't wear this without makeup. Next one I'm going to be swatching is the Pack Nude Lipstick in the number 03. Now this one is nice again for people with light skin tone. Or if you're of a medium skin tone, you have to have a full face of makeup on. But I wouldn't recommend investing in these mini nude liquid lipsticks from Pack. They dry out in the tube very, very fast. You can't get any product out. But I do really like their shade option. The next one I'm going to be talking about is Cat Von D Bow and Arrow. It almost looks like a grey toned concealer on my lips. 
The next one I'm going to be swatching is from YBP. This is their color cream in this shade Witch. I don't really like this shade on myself so much as a lipstick, but I like to use it on my uh, cheeks. So I think this is a really nice shade for people with light skin tone. The next shade I'm going to be swatching is the Sugar Mattis Hell Lip Crayon in the shade Sunny Randell. Now this is like a very light peachy pink shade and I think this would look really nice on people with lighter skin tones. Now let's move on to uh, lipsticks that cater to medium skin tones. The next shade I'm going to be swatching is from Lacme Forever Matte Liquid Lip Color. This is in the shade Nude dream and this is how it looks on the lips it's a very beautiful nude shade for medium skin tones the next shade we're going to be swatching is nude twist from lacme now this one is like a more orange toned nude shade and i think this would flatter people up to like medium skin tones um anywhere deeper than medium skin tone i think it can wash you out the next shade we're going to be swatching is mauve ecstasy this one is a little too watery compared to the other ones the next shade i'm going to be swatching is a uh, mark jacobs kiss kiss bang bang i would like to call this a nude for myself as well but i think for medium to medium tan and deep skin tones it's a very nice nude shade but might pull a lot pink if you are anywhere lighter than a medium skin tone the next shade i'm going to be swatching is the nika lips don't lie lip liner and this is in the shade pillow fight it's a very beautiful peachy nude shade for my lips i would definitely recommend this for people with medium skin tone the next shade i'm going to be swatching is the maybelline uh, sensational liquid matte lipstick in the shade sensationally me now this is something that i would like to call like a pinky nude shade for my skin tone the next shade i'm going to be swatching is from maybelline creamy matte collection and this is in the shade nude nuance this is a very nice shade for people with say up to medium skin tones uh, even for myself i do find it to be a little more mellow down and light it does have a lot of brown undertones to it Next one I'm going to be swatching is the Faces Canada Matte Lipstick in the shade Subtle Mauve. It has a little bit of mauve undertones to it as the name suggests and I really like it. The next shade I'm going to be swatching is from Faces Canada and this is in the shade Brown Ashes. And uh, this I love on myself as well and this would look really nice. Like a very nice nude shade, not so dark on people with deeper skin tones. The next one I'm going to be talking about is the Nykaa So Matte Lipstick and this is in the shade Irish Coffee. These are not very pigmented and uh, this would suit people of light and medium skin tones. Next one I'm going to be swatching is the Swiss Beauty Pure Matte Lipstick in the shade Natural Cocoa. Okay, this is a nice brown nude shade. The next shade I'm going to be swatching is from Colourpop. This is their Matte X Lippy Stick in the shade Daydream. Now this is the kind of nude I like on myself. I just love it. Of course on me it pulls a little bit darker so if you are anywhere deeper than that so be like a very nice nude shade on your lips next shade i'm going to be swatching is from maybelline this is their city brick collection and this is in the shade east village rose this would look really nice on light and medium skin tones but if you are anywhere deeper than that this might look a little too neon kind of like bright on your lips the next shade i'm going to be swatching is from rimmel this is their nudes collection and this is in the shade dark nude now this is something again i think would flatter like light medium and medium skin tones but if you are anywhere darker than that it would kind of like just sink in with your natural uh, pigmentation of your lips and might wash you out the next shade i'm going to be swatching is the nika matte to last liquid lipstick and this is in the shade gul now this is a shade that is uh, has a little bit of pink to it and it's like a pink nude shade which would flatter people of light and medium skin tones the next shade I'm going to be swatching is the Pack Retro Matte Mini Nude in the number 2. Uh, it's a very subtle uh, nude shade like it has a little bit of mauve, a little bit of pink to it. Um, I feel this will flatter all skin tones so well. It's It looks really nice even on me without makeup. The next one I'm going to be swatching is the Nykaa Matte to Last Liquid Lipstick in the shade Janvi. This is again a beautiful shade for like light and medium skin tones it looks really nice it's not too bright it's not too subtle the next one is the nika so matte mini lipstick in the shade taupe thrill this is again a brown nude shade for people with light and medium skin tones anywhere deeper than medium skin tone this would not flatter you because it's not very pigmented either so you have to build up a lot to get the pigmentation that i have on my lips right now so the next shade i'm going to be swatching is the nika so matte lipstick in the shade naughty nude this is a very nice nude shade for i think all skin tones like up to medium medium tan skin tones it's, it looks really nice so if you are of a deeper skin tone i think this would still look really nice on you but it would look a lot subtle so i think this is like a universally flattering shade 
I really like how it looks. The next shade I'm going to be swatching is the Nykaa So Matte Mini Lipstick in the shade Caramel Margarita. This is again a nice new shade for just medium skin tones. I don't think it would flatter deeper skin tones and if you are properly lighter it might look a lot more brighter. The next lipstick is the Nykaa So Creme Lipstick in the shade Let It Snooze. Now these are more pigmented than the So Matte lipsticks even though they are like so creme. Brownie, peachy, nude for medium skin tones. The next lipstick is the MAC lipstick in the shade Twig. This is a satin finish and this is a very popular shade. Again, love this shade for medium skin tones. I'm not very sure if it would flatter people of deeper skin tones. The next lipstick I'm gonna be swatching is the Faces Canada Primer plus matte lipstick and this is in the shade magnetic. I think this is like a perfect nude shade for people of medium skin tones. If you are deeper, I think it would still look good on you. So the next lipstick I'm going to be swatching is the Swiss Beauty uh, non-transfer lipstick in the shade mauve taupe. You guys know how much I love this shade. It has mauve and taupe undertones to it just like the name suggests and it's uh, a little bit dark on my lips and this is the kind of nude that I really like and it would look really nice on people of medium skin tones, deeper skin tones, so beautiful. So the next one I'm going to be swatching is the Nykaa Matte to Last Liquid Lipstick in the shade Kashi. It's a very nice like a terracotta brown nude shade on my skin tone. I really like it. It has a little bit of earthy tones to it. You don't really have to use a lot of makeup just to make sure that you don't look washed out. The one I'm going to be sw uh, swatching is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Crayon. It is a very mellow down peachy nude shade for medium skin tones anywhere darker than medium skin tone this might wash you out the next one I'm going to be swatching is the NYX powder puff lippy and this is in the shade moody a nice mauve nude shade for people of medium skin tones anywhere deeper than that do not buy this shade these are not very pigmented so they cannot mask the pigmentation on your lip the next one is the balm meat matte hues and this is in the shade charming it's actually a very like subtle pale nude shade would look good on people of light and medium skin tones the next shade I'm going to be swatching is the Anastasia liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Ashton. Now this shade again would flatter light and medium skin tones alone. The next one I'm going to be swatching is the Australis Velour Matte Lip Cream and this is in the shade Osaka. This is again a very subtle nude shade for people of medium skin tones and lighter. Next shade I'm going to be swatching is the Nykaa Matte to Last Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Madras Kapi. I feel like this is a very nice nude shade for people of um, light skin tones. It does look good on people with medium skin tones as well. Like it's not very pigmented as well. The next one is Maybelline Powder Matte Lipstick in the shade Toasted Brown. This is like a beautiful nude shade for people with light and medium skin tones. Uh, not a very pale nude shade but it has a little bit of brown, a little bit of warmth to it. Love it. So the next shade I'm going to be talking about is also from Maybelline. This is their creamy matte lipstick in the shade Touch of Spice. This is again a beautiful nude shade for people of light, medium and medium tan skin tones. The next shade I'm going to be talking about is the Nykaa Ultra Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Mona Lisa. I just love this shade on my skin tone. I think it's so beautiful. So the next lipstick I'm going to be swatching is the Nykaa So Creme Lipstick in the shade Break a Leg. This is again a pinky nude shade for medium skin tones. Next one I'm going to be swatching is the Revlon Color Burst Matte matte balm in the shade sultry on me it looks a little bit pink but i have a friend with like a medium tan skin tone and this looks like an amazing pinky nude shade on her okay the next shade i'm going to be swatching is the nika ultra matte lipstick in the shade diana this is the kind of nude that i really like on my skin tone so if you are of a lighter skin tone this would be a little bit too dark and if you are of medium or medium tan or even deeper skin tone this would look really nice as a nude shade. The next one I'm going to be swatching is the Nykaa So Cream Lipstick in the shade Deja Nude. This is again a beautiful like brown tone nude shade for medium and deeper skin tones. It will look really nice. Next one I'm going to be swatching is again another very unique shade. This is the Huda Beauty Powder Bullet Lipstick in the shade Third Date. This is again amazing for people with medium and deep skin tones. It's not your usual nude it's very very beautiful shade you can wear this without makeup you guys you want to go out without makeup this is the shade you should be trying out next one i'm going to be swatching is the miss claire soft matte lip cream and this is in the number 58 now this one is a very popular shade it's a very beautiful brown nude shade 
The next one I'm going to be swatching is the Lakme 9 to 5 Primer Plus Matte Lipstick and this is in the shade Rosy Sunday. This might look a little bright pink on my skin tone but that's how I like my nudes to be. Uh, but this would be really nice for people with medium tan and deep skin tones as well. Next shade I'm going to be swatching is the Faces Canada Primer Plus Matte Lipstick in the shade Natural Cocoa. I love the formula on these. Even though it's mentioned as Natural Cocoa, it's not a very dark brown shade. It has slight brown undertones to it but a little bit of peach uh, orange undertones to it as well and I think this will flatter people of light and medium skin tones and not anywhere deeper than that. Next I'm going to be swatching the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Crayon. I don't know the shade. I will leave it on the screen. This would be amazing for people with medium and medium tan skin tones. It might look a little too dark if you are anywhere lighter than my skin tone but I really love it. It's very mellowed down, very subtle but doesn't look like a red shade, doesn't look like a plum pink or anything of the sorts. Next shade I'm going to be swatching is the Milani uh, liquid lipstick in the shade Loved. Now this is definitely a very bright nude shade for people of medium and medium tan and deep skin tones. If you are anywhere lighter than my skin tones it might be a little too bright for you or a little too dark but I love this shade. Next one I'm going to be swatching is a very popular shade. This is the Wet n Wild liquid lipstick in the shade Give Me Mocha. This shade would look really nice on light and up to like medium tan skin tones but if you are anywhere deeper than that this might wash you out. It's not very pigmented and it does dry down like in the tube after a while. I have this for quite some time now and it's not functioning like the way it was originally but I love this shade. So next lipstick I'm going to be swatching is from Biotic. This is the Magic Color Lipstick. This is in the shade Cookie Crumble. This is only suitable for medium skin tones in my opinion and it's very very sheer. So the next lipstick I'm going to be swatching is the Nykaa Somat Mini Lipstick and this is in the shade Bon Bon. This is a very nice nude shade for like medium skin tones, medium tan skin tones. I love this shade. The next shade I'm going to be swatching is the Sugar Matte is Hell Lip Crayon and this is in the shade Claire Underwood. This is a brown nude shade with a lot of orange undertones for medium skin tones, medium tan and deep skin tones as well. It's not too loud, it's not too mellowed down, it's very nice. The next one I'm going to be swatching is the Pack Retro Matte Mini Nude in the number 01. Such a beautiful grey toned nude shade. Love this for people with medium skin tones. It looks so nice. It's so mellowed down yet not washing me out. The next one I'm going to be swatching is the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade So Me. It's a very grey toned nude shade. This one again is about preference like if you like so much of a grey tone nude shade you can uh, wear it irrespective of your skin tone but you need to have a full face of makeup on again irrespective of your skin tone so you can wear it even if you have like medium tan I think even deeper skin tones can wear this but it might wash you out a little bit. Next one I'm going to be swatching is the K-Beauty lip liner. This, is in, this one is in the shade high impact. Such a beautiful nude shade for people with medium and medium tan and deep skin tones. I love this shade. It's not your typical nude again. It has a little bit of like deeper brown undertone to it which makes it very unique and very beautiful. Next shade I'm going to be swatching is the Colourpop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Take a Pixie. I'm not sure if this is a permanent shade. This is such a beautiful brown toned nude shade for medium skin tones in my opinion. I just love this shade. So the next lipstick I'm going to be swatching is the Pat McGrath lipstick in the shade Flesh 3. This is another darker nude shade. It has a little bit of like plum brown undertones to it and it looks really nice on people with medium, medium tan and deep skin tones. The next one I'm going to be swatching is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick in the shade Spiked with Rum. This one again is a pinky peachy shade and it would look really nice on people with medium, medium tan and deep skin tone. The next one I'm going to be talking about is the Faces Canada Primer Plus Matte Lip Crayon and this is in the shade Tea Rose. This is such a beautiful nude shade for medium skin tone and I really love this one. Next one I'm going to be swatching is the Nika K True Matte Lipstick and this is in the shade Turkish Rose. Now this would look like a nice uh, pinky nude shade on medium skin tone but anywhere or deeper than that it might wash your pull a lot more paler on your lips. The next one I'm going to be swatching is the Colourpop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Bumble. Bumble is like a dusty rose shade and would look really nice on all skin tones in my opinion but a lot brighter on people of lighter skin tones I guess and more toned down on people of deeper skin tones. Next one I'm going to be swatching is the L'Oreal liquid lipstick. This is in the shade I Explore. Such a beautiful like nude shade for people up to medium skin tone. The next shade I'm going to be swatching is the Maybelline Gigi Hadid lipstick. This is in the shade Erin. 
I'm not sure if you can still find this shade anymore. Okay, so this lipstick looks like a smoked purple shade, but it's very, very light, very mellowed down. So almost looks like a nude for people with light to medium skin tones. Anywhere deeper than that, it was not the most flattering. The next one I'm going to be swatching is the PAC Mini Nude in 04. Such a beautiful mauve tone nude shade for people with light to medium skin tones. The next shade I'm going to be swatching is the Sugar Mattis Hell Lip Crayon in the shade 28 Honey Rider. Now this shade would look really nice on people with medium and medium tan skin tones. It is sort of a little bit pink but it has a little bit of peach undertones to it as well. But this is something that you can pull off without makeup. It's not too light, it's not too subtle as well but it's not too bright and neon as well. So next lipstick I'm going to be swatching is Nykaa Jade Rose. This is such a beautiful nude shade for me, like for my skin tone, which I really like and for people with deeper skin tone. This has a little bit of like terracotta plum undertones to it. It's a very different, unique shade and this is something that you should definitely have in your collection. Next one I'm going to be swatching is NYX Cabernet Show. This one again is a very nice nude, like a brown nude shade for people with light and uh, up to medium skin tones. But if you're anywhere deeper than a medium skin tone, this might wash you out. Next one I'm going to be swatching is the Nykaa Wonder Puff Cushion Lipstick in the shade Dream On. This is a nude shade for people with medium skin tones or lighter. But I think it's like the perfect nude, especially for medium skin tone. The next shade I'm going to be talking about is the L'Oreal Liquid Lipstick in the shade 121 I Choose. Now this one is a very beautiful pinky nude shade for my skin tone. I really like it and I like the formula of this. It looks very watery and it looks like it's not very pigmented but it's like a blend of a liquid lipstick and a tint. Next shade I'm going to be swatching is the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Exotic. Now this is everybody's favorite kind of like nude shade that they call it okay it's not just me it has a little bit of hint of red to it but it that's what makes it very unique it looks really nice on the lips the next one i'm going to be swatching is the l'oreal liquid lipstick in the shade i lead now this shade is again very similar to nika madras copy and uh, it it has a little bit of orange tones to it and I think this shade will look really nice for skin tones up to like medium tan skin tones. Next shade I'm going to be swatching is the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade Trophy Wife. It has a lot of purple undertones to it and it's not too bright, not too deep and very subtle on the lips. So I think it's very nice for people with medium skin tones and medium tan and deeper skin tones. So this is definitely something that I would call a nude shade for my lips. The next one I'm going to be swatching is the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color. This is in the shade Troublemaker. This is such a nice brown based nude shade for medium skin tones and if you are light medium skin tones as well, it would still look like a brown based nude shade. Now let's move on to medium tan and deep skin tones. The first one I'm going to be swatching is the Lacme Forever Matte Liquid Lip Color. This is in the shade Morph Party. Now these are not very pigmented in the first swipe so you have to dip it back in quite a lot. Now this one is a very nice um, like a mauve nude shade for I think people of uh, medium tan to deeper skin tones. For me it does pull a, a smidge bit dark. Co formula is really comfortable and the price point is very affordable. It's just for rupees 295. The next shade I'm going to be swatching is the Maybelline Sensational Liquid Matte Lipstick and this is in the shade Made Easy. Now this is not your typical nude shade okay. It's almost like an orange with a little hints of red to it it has a little bit of brown to it as well but if you are of a deeper skin tone and you are both of those pink nudes mauve nudes this is something that you can try out now i'm not vouching that this would look like a nude shade on everybody the next shade i'm going to be swatching is the blue heaven non-transfer lipstick in the shade truffle brown this is not for people of like my skin tones or lighter but for people of medium tan and deeper skin tones this is a very nice warm nude shade on their lips i've seen this swatched on medium tan and deeper skin tones and that's the reason i picked up the shade because it was looking so nice okay the next lipstick i'm going to be swatching is from blue heaven this is their non-transfer lipstick in the shade dark chocolate now this is a very nice nude shade for people of like medium deep and tan skin tones on me it does look a smidge bit uh, reddish brown but if you are of a deeper skin tone than i am it looks really nice like a nice brown nude shade compared to the other shade truffle brown this is a little bit more brown that has a little bit more like orange undertone to it this is a little bit more brown the next shade i'm going to be swatching is the bella Wast liquid lipstick this is again like a very nice burnt terracotta shade with a little bit of red to it a little bit of like brown to it and it's certainly for people with deeper skin tones next one i'm going to be swatching is something for 
people with deep skin tones i've seen this it's amazing this is the nika matulas liquid lipstick in the shade chai actually you know what chai looks really nice on people of like medium skin tones too i just love it next shade i'm going to be swatching is the faces matte lipstick in the shade forsake beauty it has a little bit of red to it and it's not your typical nude shade how many of those similar nudes do you want try out something a little bit unique like this and you won't be disappointed at all the next one i'm going to be swatching is the faces primer plus matte lip crayon and this is in the shade espresso now this one looks a little too dark on my skin tone but this would look really nice on medium tan and deep skin tones it would look like a really nice brown base nude shade next shade i'm going to be swatching is the smashbox always on liquid lipstick this is in the shade big spender such a beautiful shade with a lot of more of purple undertones to it next one i'm going to be swatching is something specifically for people with deep skin tones this would look really nice like a brown tone nude shade on their skin this is the chambord extreme wear transport proof liquid lipstick this is in the shade 484 truffle next one i'm going to be swatching is the sugar mini liquid lipstick this is in the shade tan fan Okay, on me it looks like a berry shade but I've seen this on people of deeper skin tones and this looks like a very nice uh, like a plummy nude shade. The next shade I'm going to be swatching is the Folk Allure Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Deep Chestnut for people with deeper skin tone. This is such a beautiful brownie terracotta shade and it wouldn't look too dark. It wouldn't be too light as well. It's like a very nice nude, a different kind of nude shade. Next shade I'm going to be talking about is the Sugar Mattis Hair Lip Crayon in the number 29. This is in the shade Molly Brown. It's like that terracotta brown shade. Looks really nice, not too orangish on your skin and it's a kind of different shade to pull off honestly. The next shade I'm going to be swatching is Colourpop Liquid Lipstick in the shade Tool. Now on me I know like it looks like a dusty plum shade but I have swatched many many swatches of this on medium tan and deep skin tones and it's a beautiful nude shade. It's, it's a nude that you can definitely pull off if you have medium tan and deep skin tones. It looks so nice, so unique. The next one I'm swatching is also for people with deeper skin tones. This is the Maybelline Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in the shade Seeker. Now trust me on this. This is for people with deep skin tones. It looks so nice. I was looking for swatches online and I was looking at this uh, beautiful chocolate skin girl swatching the shade and it looked so beautiful on her. Just look at the shade. It's so beautiful you guys. Trust me if you have like chocolate tan skin you should try this shade out. It's a different kind of uh, orangey toned nude shade on your skin for sure. The last liquid lipstick I'm going to be swatching is the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Love Bite. Such a beautiful brown tone nude shade for medium tan and deep skin tones. Definitely even for medium skin tones as well. It looks so nice, so muted, not like a dark deep brown shade but it's not too subtle either. It has a slight orange hint to it which I really like. So yeah, it was not easy filming this. I swatched like 80 something lipsticks in one day and then today I sat and uh, swatched the rest of it. And it's just something that I'm doing because I want it to be helpful. I want my videos to be helpful and something that I've seen that a lot of people really love nude lipsticks and I didn't put on any makeup in the first half of the video, like the first 80. In the second half, I do have a little bit of makeup around my uh, lips and underneath my eyes and I know at this time like everybody wears mask and lipstick videos are of no, not much help but just watch it like a reference and probably later when you want to buy a lipstick when you can wear all these lipsticks without a mask or something like that so yeah use it as a reference whenever you can wear lipstick in future so yeah so yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video do comment down below and let me know what are your favorite nude lipstick shades if i've missed out on any like particular amazing nude lipsticks that i need to swatch let me know in the comment section down below so also if you appreciate the efforts that i've put into this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload a new video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye